Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Well, you've probably seen in the headlines lately that the price of physical gold and silver has decoupled from the paper price on Wall Street. So today I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that and how you can actually end up owning 50% more silver than you otherwise would have if you're trying to buy bullion at the moment. So these are the type of headlines we're seeing, historic squeeze in the metals market, uh, reports that a lot of these warehouses don't have as much inventory as they're promising. Uh, Roy Seabag has done some good tweets on this, so head over there and read about what he's hearing in the LBMA in London and at the COMEX as well. But it's particularly silver that's really taken a beating lately and falling from you know $18 down to $12 or under $12 at one stage, and everyone's trying to buy it at the moment, uh, and you can't get your hands on it. So I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that. Now, Mike Maloney and I, uh, talk about this in great detail in the video that I'm going to release to the public in a couple of days. Uh, but for members, um, I have shared that in the Facebook group. You guys get early access to that. So in this video, to arbitrage this opportunity, we're going to build on the knowledge of the video I did last week about the different types of digital gold and silver that exist these days, uh, the different tokens, the different platforms. But at the end of this process, we're going to own physical bullion and hopefully 50% more than we otherwise would have. So here we can see the chart of gold and gold futures. And the gold futures here, the orange line, um, let's just put this on the same scale over to the right. And you can see that the futures are trading for a higher price than gold at the moment. They normally trend to um, tend to track pretty closely. And at one stage here, it got out to $100. So people, you know, people think that gold is going up in the future, that further out date, uh, because there's just a shortage at the moment. The gold to silver ratio, it really blew out. It typically doesn't go beyond 100 or it hasn't for you know a long, long time. And it blew out above 120 there. A lot of people didn't think that was gonna happen as well. Um, so that's why everyone is trying to buy silver at the moment. Now, if we actually have a look at, again, the price of silver versus the SLV ETF, um, here we can see that yellow line. That's currently trading for around a dollar less than the price of silver. So the ETF, tracks the price, but it tends to trade at about a dollar lower at any given time. And again, the lower the price goes, uh, this is actually really advantageous for us mathematically. Uh, I won't get into why that is, but it really helps with this arbitrage that we're gonna do at the moment. So let's head over and have a look at the contracts um, specs on all these futures contracts that the traders, uh, that you know, they trade these paper derivatives where they don't actually have to have any silver to sell silver. So 5,000 troy ounces per contract. Um, this is where we call it naked short selling. So if I just want to sell these contracts and short the market, it pushes the price down, but I don't even have to own any silver. Now that's what the... Um, you know, the theories around manipulation are over the years that gold and silver have been suppressed to some degree by these different, you know, banks and whatnot that can just short the market because they've basically got unlimited reserves, particularly with QE just topping up their reserves and whatnot. That's a story for another time. But basically at the moment, what these metals dealers are doing uh, is buying these contracts to actually take delivery because normally 98, 99% of the time, Traders don't take physical delivery. They only want to bet on the price and use leverage and you know play those Wall Street games. So what we're seeing at the moment is people buying these contracts and they are demanding physical delivery of gold and silver. So that is going to push up the price when these guys actually um, have to cough up and a lot of these traders don't have silver. So they've got to try and find physical silver somewhere. These are the 1,000-ounce uh, bars. So five of these makes up a futures contract. Uh, and this was spoken about in more detail uh, by Keith Newmeyer in this interview over on Kitco News. So he talks about how um, he's the CEO of one of the largest silver mines, First Majestic, and they're not selling any silver at the moment because they don't believe that $12 an ounce, $13 an ounce, whatever it is, is a fair representation of the current value and demand. So they're not selling um, to the refiners to make these 1,000 ounce bars. Um, and, and topping up these reserves and whatnot. So there's actually even the miners now, and I think they should have got together a long time ago because the price of the good that they're producing is being determined by guys on Wall Street in suits and you know at their keyboards each day with nothing to do with silver mining and whatnot. So it's great to see this sort of stuff happening. So they're actually holding back supply. Um, and once they have those 1,000 ounce bars, they sell to other refiners or, or bullion dealers and they make these products and coins. So as you can see here, order now, deliver later. 
Um, this is Ainsley Bullion, who's one of our partners, and we've got a discount for you guys over on our website for uh, those of you that do want to buy Bullion products. But yeah, at the moment, a lot of their things are sold out. It's going to be a little while till they have them. But that's similar for you know Perth Mint on their popular products uh, and Mike Maloney's site over at goldsilver.com. Now, what I want to show you next is the price of these physical silver bars. And the 100-ounce bars um, tend to be pretty low. So that's the closest you're going to get to the actual spot price of silver. You're never going to get the exact price because they're a business. It costs money to make coins and bars and to pay your staff and you know run your website and whatnot. So you're never going to get silver at the exact price when you're buying physical. But if we divide this cost by 100, it gives us $21 per ounce when silver is currently trading at about $13 or $14. So that's a $7 over spot. And typically these products um, normally trade around a dollar over spot, dollar or two. So if we go back to February um, last year in our web archives, we can see that the 100 ounce bars trading around $16 an ounce when silver was around $15, $14 at the time. So again, around a dollar or two over spot. At the moment, it's $7 over spot because there's just such a huge demand. Again, Keith talks about this where um, on their website, when silver fell from 18 to 12, they didn't drop their price down from their coins because they thought that's not fair value. So a lot of these guys still have their price up where they had it when silver was $18 an ounce. So now we get to how we can take advantage of this and we want to use these different products. Um, so if we head over to eToro, um, where I trade my, you know, my ETFs, um, where it's the U.S. markets and whatnot, things that we otherwise don't have access to in Australia. Uh, this is currently trading for thirteen dollars thirty, like we saw before, uh, around a dollar below the actual silver price the ETF tends to track. So what you can do at the moment is buy the SLV ETF. And when it silver goes back to eighteen or twenty-one dollars an ounce, where I think it's going to go. The price of silver here and the profits you're going to make are going to be up 50% from let's call it $14 to $21 to use round numbers. That's a 50% gain. So you're going to be in 50% profit. But at that stage, once the the price of silver gets back up to 21, these 100 ounce bars, you know, they're only going to be a dollar or two over spot. So they're going to be trading for hopefully 22 maybe $23 an ounce um, over spot. Now, these are in Aussie dollar prices, so you know let's not get confused with all the math there. But the point is that it's going to go from this big gap at the moment, which is currently around $7, back to around a dollar or two. So while that is happening, let's take advantage of that and let's ride the fake paper price up, these ETF price up, put on our trader's hat, make that extra money. Hopefully, we've got 50% extra money, um, and then we can choose... Uh, to head over to our favorite bullion dealer um, and buy physical silver. So if you do plan on doing that, we're still running that promotion where you also get $100 of Bitcoin when you sign up. I'll put that link down below. There's other ways to do this. Um, FTX have got their uh, gold token, XAUT, and uh, the PAX G token. So both of those are gold tokens or futures contracts where you can arbitrage, do the same arbitrage uh, with gold that we just spoke about. Um, Ainsley have also got their gold and silver tokens over on CoinSpot and uh, each token is one gram of silver. So I think it's 22 ounces, um, 22 grams in an ounce or possibly 28. Um, you guys correct me on the math, but anyway, um, that's how those tokens work there over on CoinSpot. So I hope you've enjoyed that arbitrage opportunity. Um, I do talk about all this sort of stuff and tie all the financial well together for you over in our group. So if you do want to join us, uh, head over to nuggetsnews.com.au and join our crypto community. Otherwise, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video around, and I'll talk to you again soon. Cheers.